Welcome to IGCSE Computer Science Lectures. In this video, we will talk about how to write pseudocodes and why pseudocodes are so important to learn before starting the actual programming or before getting more practice of programming. So whenever you are given an algorithm, you are whenever you are given a problem and you have to solve that problem with some programming code with some application or anything then first you you always analyze the problem you think about it and you devise a solution in simple steps these simple steps are basically in a non computer language may it be english may it be your any language any tongue you use like urdu or anything else so when you start typing the code you always face difficulty on how to do a certain task which you thought of in code because all the programming languages have different syntaxes they have different structures and different things it, it basically it has all your rules so the wisest step is to first write the pseudocode pseudocode is literally false code so pseudocode c makes your algorithm a little more like an actual code so you can convert it to real code more easily let's have an example and look how pseudocode helps us we have to create an algorithm that can tell if a given number is even or odd a simple algorithm can look like the following you get a number divide the number by two and check the remainder if the answer is re remainder is zero then the answer is even if the remainder is not zero then the answer is odd you print the answers and you display the answers and the program finishes pseudocode helps us rewriting the algorithm in a more program like way so it's easy to convert it into a program first we declare a variable named number and we input a value into the number then we create another variable called remainder and we find numbers mod with two mod is basically a mathematical function which finds the remainder it instead of dividing and finding the quotient it finds the remainder so then we use if if is a control structure if is used whenever you have one or two or three options to do something so we say that if remainder is equal to zero then print the number else uh, then print the number is even else print number is odd then we use an if so you can see that this pseudocode if you have this pseudocode it's more easy to convert it into a program in any language of your choice but if you just have the algorithm in a simple plain english then it is little difficult in the beginning uh, you know when you are an expert programmer you don't need to write pseudocodes for every problem little problems can be solved easily with the code directly without going into pseudocode thing but whenever you have a complex problem, then expert programmers also do some drilling and try to write pseudocode in a informal form and then go to the programming. So pseudocode is still important when you are expert. In pseudocode, we write variables by keeping their first letter capital like N capital in name, C capital in cost. So this tells us that it's a variable assignment is when you assign some value into the variable that's called assignment so assignment is done by this left-handed arrow and you can use mathematical expressions in the right side of assignment common operators for performing a given mathematical action are provided in the table you, we use plus sign for addition, minus for subtraction, strike for multiplication, slash for division, this hat symbol for raised to the power and brackets to group the expressions. All of these can be used in combination or separately just like we use cost multiplied by 2. So any mathematical expression can be used here. Any pretty basic mathematical expression can be used here. For the complex ones, you have to write the formula yourself. Let's not dig into that for now. Conditional statements are statements which revolve around a condition. If the given condition is true, they take one path. If the given condition is not true, they take another path or do another thing or don't do anything. One of its kind is if then else statement. 
so if then else statement is basically very much involved in our real life as well we are always taking decisions in our mind to do this we are always thinking about doing something depending on the other thing so for example when i say if it is hot i will take water bottle with me if it is not hot i will not take water bottle with me so this is an if then else statement in programming language so you are always dealing with if then else statements these are very common in our life as well so we have to embed them into programming as well because that's how we take decisions that's how we think so let's see our first example the first example says that if the value in variable named age is less than 18 then print child when the condition that age is less than 18 is true then print child if the condition that age is less than 18 is false then go to the else part and print adult so if i provide age as 15 it will print child if i provide age as 50 the condition will be false so it will print adult whenever the condition is true it takes the then part whenever condition is false it takes the else part in the second example we have multiple variables we have to consider for example height weight and age so uh, let's say and we have some other keywords as well or and n so let's see how it goes when I provide age as 1, height also as 1 and my weight is 25. So if height is greater than 1, no height is not greater than 1 so first condition is false. Or weight is greater than 20, yes weight is greater than 20 so second condition is true while third condition is also false cause age is not greater than 5. So you can see that all the or conditions all three of them are also grouped in a break in brackets it means any one of them should true any should be true any one of them not all of them should be true it is not important we want any one of them to be true so in that case we have a variable we have one of them is true weight is greater than 20 so this condition is true and the and part is a must there is no choice about the and part and says that this should be true so you you already have studied boolean and you have studied about gates you have studied about the concept of or and, and. if not then you can check other videos videos about it so here age is less than 70 so this condition is also true it means the or part is true and the and part is also true now i can say that my if condition is true so whenever the if condition is true you can write whenever this condition is false you cannot write another important point to consider is we use indentation in programming indentation means some lines are starting from the beginning of line while some lines are little right sided so whatever comes inside the if block should be little right indented two spaces right indented you can see that then and else parts are right indented they are little right from the beginning multiple operators can be used in conditional statements for comparing some things uh, for example greater than less than equal greater than equal less than or equal and not equal we can also group multiple conditions together by using brackets whenever we are grouping conditions we we are going to connect them with and or not and means both parts should be true or means either of them should be true not means none of them should be true sometimes we have to consider different values of a single variable not multiple variables in that case we use case instead of if else so if else and case both are conditional statements they serve different purposes but they do the same thing they take decisions based on the value of variable so here we say that whenever the choice variable holds value of one the answer should be equal to addition of the two numbers whenever the choice variable holds value two the answer should be subtraction of the two numbers similarly three should be multiplication of two numbers four should be division of two numbers and if the user gives any other value in choice variable then we are going to say that please enter a 
valid choice you uh, so here we are considering the value in one variable called choice here we also use indentation inside the case block we list out different cases with colons one is the value in the variable colon then answer the answer is the variable we are going to assign something into it we are going to add our two numbers and store the answer in the variable named answer then after doing all the stuff we are going to end our case with the keyword end case all the keywords are capital here there is a standard way to write input output and print statements in pseudocode as well we write input in all caps like other keywords and then we write the variable name which will hold the input with n capital print and output perform the same purpose whenever you are printing something which is not stored in any variable then we use inverted commas for example your name is is not stored in any variable so we keep it in inverted commas you can also print multiple variables by separating them with commas next are loop structures we have already talked about loop structures in our previous videos you can watch those if you still have some confusion so the main considerations are we are keeping the keywords capital for example for to next print and repeat while and while all the keywords are in all caps we are printing in we are printing sterics in inverted commas because steric is not stored in any variable it is not in any variable so things which are not stored in a variable are printed by give uh, by keeping them in inverted commas we are writing c capital for the counter as counter is a variable and we are using left handed arrow for assignment and for our condition part we are also using brackets because that's the way it is done and most importantly we are also using indentation here just like we used in f part whatever instructions are inside the repeat block should be indented with two spaces whatever instructions are inside the while and for blocks as well Keep watching for new videos and do subscribe. Your feedback is very important. Leave your comments below.